So uh, as Shane mentioned, got some magic codes. It's not just 2619 or where's the 411. Uh, these are actually proper magic. Those are all uh, police and TV magic. This is proper magic. So that's me. Uh, that white actually, we sing every time we meet with Tarafiti, we make sure that they sing and sing that white as well. Uh, and so that they are also getting a sense of the magic and also re-indoctrinating themselves about how important our rohe really is uh, to iwi roa te mutu and mokai pātea, which we uh, describe as a very, very strategic uh, location in te Ikaroa Māori. Uh, we won't belabor the point around the pātea nui tonu whakapapa lines, but just to say that this uh, claim settlement process is on behalf of our four iwi, Ngāi Te Ohuake, Ngāi Te Ngāi Te Te Kahukare, and Ngāi Te uh, And that is a little bit unusual. There's not too many claims that go through this sort of process where there are multiple iwi uh, involved, uh, but that also lends to uh, our process a little bit of strength uh, in the sense that uh, we believe uh, that because there are four iwi involved, then ultimately, um, there's going to be a more elevated discussion around quantum and other things. Kapai. Now, our rohe is very significant, not only because uh, uh, it involves rata, but also because of the size. Uh, now, when we compare our rohe with other places, uh, the Waikato Raupatu area, 1.135 uh, million acres, and our Fanonga and Taranaki, uh, Matua Te Tapu, 1.265 million acres. Uh, our rohe, undisputed, uh, is nearly a million acres. Uh, now, that's a lot la larger than I actually imagined when I was fortunate enough to be uh, nominated and selected to be part of the negotiations team, but it absolutely blew my mind. Uh, that it was so large. I thought it might be six or seven. I don't know. It's a million acres undisputed. And then our area of interest is a little bit larger. Uh, we haven't got that area of interest on this map here, but it will definitely be uh, larger than one million acres. Now, what we've been saying, and this is unfortunate if you're from the East Coast, is that <laughs> the Nazi Pro here is about a million acres too. But if, uh, you know, uh, there was a bit of a Splinter and Ngāti Pro went off and had its own island or just fell away into the water. Actually, there's been a bit of water over there last week. Um, actually, it wouldn't make a huge difference to the uh, ongoing health and well-being of the North Island from a strategic uh, infrastructure perspective. So for infrastructure and for the corridor that our rohe has, it, that's a corridor that's existed for many centuries with our tūpuna. Uh, and it's a corridor that continues to exist today. But the sheer scale is something that we present to everyone and everyone we present to when we do this are absolutely surprised that our rohe, our undisputed rohe, is as big as of what it is. Uh, but that was and still symbolises um, the fitness of our tupuna to go travelling around this rohe. If it was a small rohe, they didn't need to be very fit because it's a big rohe, they had to be very fit. So up and down from, as I as I sometimes say, from Te One Tapu to Tarakiti and from all Homoko out to Tekoa and Awaru Hinemanu, this is our rohe. Kapai, Ben. Oh, maybe Matua Che can talk to this because this is, uh, oh, yeah, this yep. is part of what we've been working on as a negotiations team. Go. So, so as Tom has already referred to, um, Te Iwiroa is not just the geographical ranges but it's also a recognition that when you don't have a spine, you're buggered. <laughs> and um, the the spine of our nation and that um, uh, infrastructure and economic corridor that is home is essential. And so our, our taumata, our aspiration is about ensuring that we get the right recognition for that strategic location that is ours. In addition to that, that um, we are recompensed. Mindful that um, treaty settlements are not justice. And what we often um, forget, because everybody focuses in on the money, is um, 
that it's about the money. Well, actually, this is a political settlement. It's not a just settlement. Because if it was a just settlement, all of the iwi so far that have settled wouldn't only get wouldn't get one to two cents in the dollar of what we actually lost. Uh, why not? Um, our goal is to ensure that we get a a fair settlement as we navigate the politics of um, of the crown. And then, as we go forward, we're focused in on Mokai Partia, Mokai Ngarara, and Mokai Tengako. And both Tirena and I can cover that, cover that soon, but basically, uh, Mokai Partia being home, but also Partia to be open. And so that no matter what we do, as we navigate this journey, we set down some key values where we are open and honest, we act with integrity, integrity and a free and frank and it's quite important because the crown's process has multiple layers of microaggression and so chip by chip they cut you away um, but by us being free and frank back it's not about us giving one back to them but being open and frank about hey that's not a fair, fair process and being being honest about that to them Mokai Ngārara is about, and Ngārara Tanga, is about us being open to embracing that magic of Pohokura, Tarpiko, and all of the other kaitiaki. Um, because if we can embrace that, that can help us look for solutions rather than just moaning about what the Crown's done to us. Because moaning hasn't got us to survive. It's the resilience from those kaitiaki that's got us to survive through this. And then Mokai Te uh, is about ensuring that at the end of this process, we can go, we still love ourselves. Because it's a pretty brutal process and um, it encourages us to hate against each other. But hopefully we can find um, ways to heal uh, as well as be proud as we go forward. Kātika hoki, kātika. Oh, kaya koe, kaya, kaya kōrua ko Tirina. Just tap in anywhere, um, Tirina. Uh, and so uh, these guiding popo, mōkai pātea, mōkai ngārara, mōkai te ngākau, uh, is, is all about us leaning into what makes home important for us. Because it's important for us, but it's also important to the rest of the mutu, and we know that because there are so many waiata that refer to going north-south through our rohe and east-west through our rohe. And just a classic example being poi atu takupoi. Ngā piki tanga ki o tai di papatai di te atu ki pātea. And then it carries on to the one tapu and, and around the motu. But that reference there is a key reference which just highlights the importance of home to us as a people. And so if we are strong in our connections, because it's not just about boring presentations and and um, going through all of the other stuff, but it's about getting out there, getting out there, maintaining those links to the land, so it's not just theory. Mōkai Ngārara is tapping into that magic and then using that magic to advance us so that um, we stand proud um, in our cultural stories, our cultural narratives, so that they live on. Anything from you, Tarina? Um, I think I'd just add that um, the mōkai ngārara and our, our ability to um, tap into being um, resilient, um, adaptable, transformable, um, and the remembering that um, however we see pohokura, um, whether we see it as a butterfly dragon or a Game of Thrones uh, dragon, um, that we actually in Mōkai Party, I think I said this in Mōwhanga, we, we are dragon people. Um, and unfortunately for us, our time um, has been man managing the, the tanifa that is colonisation in the Crown um, for all this time. And so it's, you know, now it's time for us to remember that um, we are also keepers um, of ancestral um, dragons such as uh, Pohukura and it is time for us to remember that and re 
tap into um, to our ability to be uh, transformative. Um, and if it helps as well to uh, to tap into the Modi of um, of Game of Thrones, because Khaleesi was definitely from Mokai Party. <laughs> Um, Kia ora, tēnā koe uh, tanina, kōrua tei, actually just go back to that one there, um, oh, I don't have uh, because I think what's important, important takeaway today is you have to figure out which dragon you are, <laughs> and today I'm going to be the Kohaku dragon from Spirited Away, the Japanese anime, <laughs> that represents the Kohaku River, but you might want to think about what dragon or how you see Puhukura in your daily life. That's something that, um, you know, as uh, more Kaipatia we can do. I like that uh, cope up around falling in love with who we are. I've been vain since about year three, but <laughs> this is more about falling in love with ourselves as more Kaipatia. And uh, that's uh, something that's really uh, critical for us as we go through the process. We don't want to go through the process and end up saying, oh, I never want to go to Taihapi again in my life. <laughs> no, not at all. We want to go through this process and feel really good about ourselves physically, spiritually, whanau, environmentally, real, all those things. Kapai. In, in, addition, just, in addition to that, Tom, is that Mokai Pātea, Mokai Ngārara and Mokai Tengako are also are really good measures, mm. good measures for us to check our well-being. Yeah. That connection to place, that connection to our tahawairua and the connection that makes us feel good. I just add that as well. Sounds like the KPIs for the post-government settlement entities. <laughs> 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 